Hi, Arnesty. How many times have you come to this Memorial Day ceremony? Can you count? Probably, probably 50 years. You've been here 50 times? 50 times. You're 90? I'm 96 years old. A veteran of World War II and Korea. And it's an honor for me to come here and be on the committee here. This is a very, very important day for me. But what is even more important is two days before on Saturday, when I see 7,000 boys and girls putting flags on the 90,000 flags here in about two and a half hours. It's so moving to see these little kids carrying the American flags and placing the flags in front of the, 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 the graves, calling, calling out the names, giving a salute, and then go on to the next. Can you imagine these little kids? And they say that kids are all turning out bad. It's not true. To see seven, 8,000 kids all in one place in uniform yeah. at early in the morning at 7.30 is so, so moving. And I've been doing that for years and years. And I'm on the program. And it's such a pleasure to be part of it. And then we come here for Memorial Day to remember the veterans that no longer are here. You know, no longer in, in the war. Yeah. They were, yeah. they had, had died and gave their life for their country. Yeah, may I ask? So, is everyone who's buried here, did they all, uh, uh, were they all killed in action? No, no, that's not, no. no. How, how, how does one qualify to be buried in a national cemetery? Well, right now, the, the, the West, this, uh, this cemetery is full. Yeah. And there, we are not going to, it can't bury, everybody goes to Riverside. Uh -huh. which is a much bigger cemetery. Uh -huh. But to be buried in a veteran cemetery, does someone have to be in active service when they die? No, 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 that's not quite. No, as long as we're, we're a veteran, and that's all that matters. They're all for veterans. And, okay. yeah. Thanks for clarifying that. Spouses too. And spouses too? Spouses too, yes, absolutely. In fact, they're, they're buried in the same grave. On top of one another? On top of one another. Yeah, it's all in the same grave. That that grave is reserved for the for their 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 loved one. How many graves are there here? Here over ninety, over ninety thousand. That's remarkable. And it's full. That's right. My dearest friend is buried here, Mort Schechter, who I grew up with as a kid in high school, and uh, I worked with him for thirty six years in the toy industry before I got called back in the, in the Korean War. And I, I, it was before I, I served in, uh, in, the, in the toy industry. Is, is that where those flags come from? You have a toy vendor with, to get these, sell you these flags? No, I, that I don't know. That's, that's part of the committee. I, 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 everybody has a different assignment here. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's an honor to be part of, the, of this National Cemetery and be on the, on the committee. How many Jewish war veterans come down to this? Well, it depends on different posts. In the, the Jewish war veterans that live in the area, see, there a lot of them, like in the Valley 603, the Jewish war veterans have, is involved with, with Eden Memorial Park, so that's in their own bin. Oh, oh, oh. But I'm involved with, with West L.A. because right. I live in this West L.A. I've lived here for... Uh, for of uh, for 90 96 years <laughs> i'm 96 years old and i'm still batting 1000 i'm still a volunteer at the at the va hospital and uh i continue i have an office here and i help the veterans to get their assignments very nice it's a pleasure to be to meet you and thank you very much for uh in talking to me i appreciate it my honor, my privilege. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you very much. Bye now.